What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know it has been a while, but sorry about that. I've been really busy with school and like my tennis season and stuff. But anyways, today I have a crazy story. Of course, you already know by the title. Um, We rescued some guinea pigs. Well, it wasn't really me, it was my little brother's friend. His name is Brian. You'll see it. you'll see him at the end of the video. I'll have him explain like more about like how he rescued them, like how he found them and stuff. But anyways, long story short, my little brother's friend Brian, which is the one that got the guinea pigs, he was at an event with all my, all my other brothers in which they were cleaning like this big old street we have here in Florida called OBT. People were finding weird stuff left and right, you know, it's Florida. But Brian, he found these two guinea pigs that were abandoned under a bush or a tree. I forgot and someone abandoned them there because they had a little bit of food there and like that's it and then he brought them to me because he thought i would know what to do with them but look for a rescue that would take them in you know call people up ask them if they would like take your pet but don't just abandon it in the street especially not in florida like it was like 3,000 degrees that day so they told me about this after i got back from work with my dad and that's where i picked up my phone so Enjoy the video. All right, so this is crazy. I just got back from work. As you can tell, I look crispy. I look like a pizza crust. <laughs> I just got back from work and check this out. Yo, what? Oh my gosh, dude. My brothers were doing a project. They were cleaning up like a big old road. And one of his friends found these two guinea pigs, I think under a bush. And then blizzards over here begging for food, but this is insane, bro. First of all, why would someone abandon these two little creatures, bro? I mean, look at them, bro. They're cute as heck. For right now, till I can figure out um, like a place to put them or what to do with them, uh, I'm get, I'm just gonna clean this up real quick because I have the litter and bedding for uh, my boy right here, Blizzard so it works for them too and i also have the hay that they eat too so i'm gonna clean this up for now clean their bowls up because it's pretty dirty put some fresh food i don't know if they eat the bunny food but i'm pretty sure they do oh and i haven't tried to pick them up um I, they seem pretty skittish like they get pretty scared when i try to touch them i just hope they don't bite me because i don't know if they got rabies or i don't know bro they were out in the sun but yeah, I'm gonna try to pick them up to let them roam around here with my boy Blizzard while I clean this this little tub they're in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so here goes nothing. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pick you up. Oh, you didn't bite me. That's good. All right, X. Come on, Baba. Let me pick you up real quick, okay? Okay, buddy? All right. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh. All right, they're out. And I'm just gonna quickly just clean this up before like they get into some trouble. She drinking it? Ew. What the? You're probably thirsty today. All right, I'm gonna hurry up. All right, their tub is clean. Their bowls are clean. And I'm running out of sunlight, so I gotta do this quick. But um, what I'm gonna do is put this doggy pad under, like in the bottom, and then cut it like accordingly. And then after that, I'm just gonna put that um, litter in here, and then hit their food back, and then some fresh hay, and we'll go from there. But for now, uh, I'm gonna do this real quick.
right, I'm done with their bin and it looks pretty clean, but I am sweating and um, I can put these guys back in here. As you can see, they got a fresh bowl of water. They got their uh, hay and food and they're back here. They've been exploring the porch. They're both behind this, just like Blizzard when we first got them. He first went back here. And now it's time to put him back um, inside their bin and to like figure out what I'm gonna do with them. But anyways, this is crazy and I'm gonna try to put them back into the tub. Ooh, Blizzard, they're eating your hay. Go get him, boy. Go get him. Oh, he's coming out. Guess he's not scared. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to catch them now. The other guy took off, but this guy, yep, he took off too. I think I'm gonna just like, try to grab them without the camera. All right, what the dude? They were just now, um, like, freaking smelling each other, kissing or something. The um, blizzard and the guinea pigs. What the heck? Bro, this boy is being naughty. Like, I'm trying to grab him and he's running away and Blizzard's over here doing nothing to help me out. But, I'll get you sooner or later, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. Finally, bro, that guy was so, this dude is, this dude is so bad. Like, I literally spent the last 10 minutes trying to catch him, bro. In this small porch, it made me move everything. But anyways, I got them both in. As you can see, they're like talking to each other. They're planning to like escape or whatever. Oh, never mind. But I'll catch you guys later with an update. They love that hay. Good thing I got a whole bunch of it. And this boy over here cleaning himself up. Yes, sir. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing, Mama? Leave him alone. What the? What are you doing, son? <laughs> you can hear from the man himself, the hero, the savior. What, the guinea pig? To told oh, us. Bro. Boy, looking at me, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro. I have no paparazzi. Miss, are you good? Tell us how you... F <laughs> Tell us how you found the, the guinea pigs, bro. Tell me. I saw them. I'll, I'm listening. I you. Want, you want a picture? You want a picture? Yeah, you need to sit down. I need a serious talk with you. How did you find the guinea pigs and where? We you are under a tree. All right, we are here with Brian Suniga. And, um, yeah, sure. Tell us the story for real, real quick. Well, we found them under the tree or a bush, whatever you want to call it. They had barely any food. Trash all around them. Is it a tree? Trash all around them? Bruh, weren't they, did they, were they in the box or no? No, they were just under a tree. Just roaming free? No, literally just under it. They would not move from there. Because it was too hot or what? No. Actually. They were scared. Bruh. Give this man a round of applause. And get him a shield. Why do you need a shield? Because you kept him like Never mind. You know what? Cut. Alright, that is going to be it for this video. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to find out what happens with the guinea pigs. Um, I'm sure... I mean, I want to keep them, I really do. Like, I've wanted guinea pigs for a while, but I don't have the space or money. I'm broke. To keep them, so I might just, like, call up a rescue and, like, take them over there, you know, drop them off. 
not throw them in the street. But anyways, if you stay till the end of this video, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out some of my other videos on this tank and this uh, enclosure, Crested Gecko enclosure. That is going to be it for today. Make sure you guys stay tuned, stay positive, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Tell us how you f <laughs> 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 <laughs>